And welcome back to Illuminati Motor Works. We've made all of our parts for the car out of carbon fiber, Kevlar, and honeycomb. You can see a couple finished fenders here. And then from the once you've got your parts pulled from the molds, you move on to try to fitting them onto the car. Try. You shave and you cut and you trim and you work it down so that they fit about where you need them. Uh, we had to trim a little steel off of this one. You drill some mount holes and you use what's called a Cleco. It's a temporary rivet. And you put them through those holes and it fixes your, your part in its location. And then you move on to the next part. Once we got the windows in, then we fitted the fender. You can see the Cleco holes here. And then we moved up to the center pieces, the top piece, the front fenders. Once we had everything fitted, we pulled it all back off the car. We had to make some specialty parts. These little parts here kind of locate and hold on the, uh, the center column between the doors. Uh, well, these are made out of carbon fiber. It's a little angle piece. We made it the same way we made the parts, uh, except our mold for this was a piece of aluminum angle wire. You wax it up, you put your epoxy down, you lay up about 10 layers of carbon fiber, put your vacuum form material on it, vacuum it down, let it stand or vacuum for a day, pull it out, and you've got carbon fiber angle. So we mounted those here to hold our side piece on, and then we moved on to cleaning all the pipes, putting tape on them where we were going to glue for our parts, and then painting them with an epoxy primer. Now uh, that's the black that you see here. And then we come back and we pull off the tape. We just did that this morning. That tells you where you need to locate your part, where you need to put your glue, your aircraft adhesive, and you still have your rivet holes, which then line everything up perfectly and hold it down while the glue is drying. This morning we started with, and you got to do this the same way you would a cake. You start with the bottom layer and work up to the frosting. So the same way you put the parts on the car, the same way you fitted them, is the way you put them on now. Otherwise you might end up in a tight spot when something doesn't fit back on the way it's supposed to. We put on our top cowling. It's round for the windshield, comes down to the center of the, the uh, car a little bit, and we've got our drip edge built in on this one. We aligned it in place, made sure it fit after we put our paint on, made sure there weren't any tight spots. Then we put glue, actually Reg did, he's standing in the next room right now. Uh, we put glue on all of our clear areas where we had the tape. You can see that here. We did the same up here. Pushed it on, aligned a few of the holes with the Clecos, and then installed our aircraft rivets. Put a rivet in the hole, clicked it down. Uh, aircraft rivets are a steel double-headed rivet. They're stronger than your, your standard steel rivets and, of course, much better than aluminum rivets. The glue we're using is also an aircraft or a, or a panel adhesive. It's SEM 39747. Once you put it on your bare spots on the car for, for gluing it in place, you also use it like a clock for filling the gaps. You come back and use a little tool. You don't want to use your hands. The stuff will stick to it real bad. And don't lean into it and get it in your hair like I did this morning. Uh, and you fill all your gaps. And once that's hardened, this panel will never, ever move. Uh, and then you move on to your next panel, again, checking your alignment, dry fit it, blow off your panel of course first, pull it back off, put your glue on all the bare areas, fight get your panel on, put a couple of Clecos in, put the permanent rivets in, take the Clecos out, and then put the rivets in those holes where the Clecos are at, and then backfill all the spaces with the glue. And then you work down the vehicle the same way you started. Next panel will be the center panel. The one after that, we're going to put on our windows, and then we're going to put on our rear fender. From there, we'll move on to fitting the hood and the trunk. We've pre-fitted the hood and the trunk. We didn't cut them down all the way. Uh, when you go to, to final fit or finally put on your, your part, like the fenders we just put on, they might be sl sitting slightly different than they were when you trial fit them. You've got some glue in there now. You've got some paint. It's going to move it just a little bit. And if you did the final cut on your hood, it may not fit perfect anymore. So you want to wait to do your final cuts, your final trimming, until those pieces are firmly affixed in place. So we'll show you again, uh, when we're a little bit further down the car, what it looks like. I've also got with me today, Dad. Say hi, Dad. He's on the camera. Hi, Dad. We've got George. Say hi, George. Drink a coffee. Hi. And, of course, our builder, Reg, who's hiding in the other room right now. So say hi, Natalie. Hey, Natalie. Hey, hey everybody. See, he is really here.